What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we're going to be going over our brand new squad for Season 6 in NBA 2K22 Maya Team. We've built a nice squad right here. We've built a nice squad. And two players are being sold, well three players, sorry, are being sold from my like last season squad. And those players are... I'm selling Eddie freaking Curry. I don't like, like I like Eddie Curry. I'm selling Eddie freaking Curry. And I'm selling these two guys right here. I'm selling Ben Wallace. I'm selling Evan Mobley. So let's take a look at the price of Ben Wallace. Like the guys that I'm buying hopefully are a little bit cheaper. Um, Like again, I just want, I have the power within Ben Wallace. He gets menace, but he doesn't get the duo, which is a little bit annoying. Let's see, I bought him for like 25. Okay, so I've lost a lot of coinage on him. I am not selling Ben Wallace for 10,000 MT. I don't care. I'm not selling him for that. Evan Mobley. Oh yeah, I'm not selling these guys. Enough, right? Screw that. Screw that. I'm, not, I'm getting 10k for these guys. I'm not selling them. They're not, they're not worth selling like that. I thought I was still going to get like 20k for these guys. Send them to collection. Screw it. Send Evan Mobley back to the collection. You might be, you're going to be use, useful at some stage to me, I guess. So, this is what we have. Fair players that are no longer going to be in the squad. So, the, the, the squid was, the squid had been pretty good. So the squid is now gone. And we're replacing it with a brand new squid. We're replacing the old squid with the new squid. So, point guard. Obviously, Luka Doncic, the best player in all of my team next gen, the unguardable Luka Doncic, the uncontestable Luka Doncic. My, like, I think I have a chance in almost every game I play when I run through Luka Doncic, especially on like these servers. Depends. I'm playing like a like a known comp player. Yeah, I'm not winning. But like, if I'm playing, it's just an average, an average guy. No matter how good their, much better their team is than mine. As long as I have Luka Doncic, I feel like I have a chance. Luka, so good. He's just so, so good. At the shooting guard position, we got one of our new players. And our starting two was Evan Mobley. Our starting shooting guard is now Jerry Sloan. Jerry Sloan is our starting shooting guard and on-ball defender. Jerry Sloan has got 27 huffs. Catch and shoot, corner specialist, difficult shots, fearless finisher, acrobat, pickpocket, pick dodger, clamps, interceptor, intimidator, posterizer, off ball pass, pogo stick, blinder, circus three, giant slayer. You're looking, oh, only 51 badges, but like he has all the keepings. A half menace. Ridiculous defensive badges. He's got lateral quickness of like 98. An unbelievable three ball. And like really good defense, including interior and decent player build. With perfect tendencies. Jerry Sloan, free dark. He's a free dark banner. But he's a damn good one. He is a damn good dark banner. Small forward. So again, this is kind of where, where it's a little bit of a tough one. Because we got a lot of kind of older players that are good. Like the Jason Tatums of the world. But for me, I think at the small forward position, I'm playing Jay Smooth. I'm playing Josh Smith. Actually, screw it. Josh Smith's going to grab a ball. Just because of his height and his ability to play the center position on, to switch screens. Josh Smith, catch and shoot, corner specialist, fearless finisher, acrobat, clamps, interceptor, intimidator, pogo, downhill, quick first step, unstrippable, limitless takeoff, fast switch. He's also got, um, he's got gold range. He's got a good release. He's got shifty dribble style. Rim protector on goal. Quick chain. Rebound chaser. Back down puncher. Rise up. Fade ace. Limitless spot up. Giant slayer. Pro touch. Bail out. Handles for days. Unpluckable. Like he's really, really nice. As well as that, like 97 driving dunk. Good three or decent three ball. Good ball handle. Unbelievable defense. Solid rebounding. Great speed speed bomb acceleration. 96 lateral. You'll see a gameplay on Josh Smith later. You'll know why I like him as much as I do. He's like a poor man's Blake Griffin. He is a poor man's Blake Griffin. 
And again, the cheap Blake Griffin is what jo the Josh Smith gameplay is going to be called. The power forward position, look, I have to. Pat Burke. I'm sorry, he's perfectly fine. He is not a brilliant card, but he is perfectly fine. And I have to. I have to. Like, I have not. Like, it's like why Jacob always ha will always have to use Cade. And he'll always have to have Ben Wallace in the squad. Like, Pat Burke was, like, one of the first basketball players I ever watched with the Irish national team. Like, I've... I've made a fool of myself in front of this guy. He definitely doesn't remember it. I do because I just remember getting into an argument with a physio. Nas national championship final. Um, I split my eyelid open. Me getting into an argument with a physio. Them saying they, they wouldn't uh, tape. They wouldn't bandage me up because there was uh, there was a risk that I could do some damage to my eye. And I literally got into a huge argument being like, I don't care. It's a national championship final. Please just wrap me up whatever way. Like, wrap it up whatever way you can. And I'm going back out on the floor. And then as I'm like, don't, don't worry, I've talked to Fizzy and like apologize, like apologize profusely for that. It was just adrenaline. As I'm like getting genuinely angry about that, I look up and it's Pat Burke like four feet away, hearing me go on an unhinged rant about a physio for uh, trying to get back into a game with a completely busted open eyelid. But uh, yeah, funny, funny story. He definitely doesn't remember that. But Pat Burke is more than usual. He's fine. He does a job and he's there. Because he doesn't really have to play much defense because we got the Kembe. He doesn't really have to guard anyone under the cone because we got the Kembe Matumbo. The Kembe Matumbo may be the best center in my team. We paid a thousand tokens for him, and I don't regret it. He's so he's the best rebounder I've used. Him and Kareem go toe to toe. Like him and Kareem, very when they match up against each other, it's an even matchup. Like I think they're they are the two best centers in my team. It's not even close. And maybe if you're talking overall, you could argue maybe some of the ones that are power forward eligible might be better cards, but I think he's a way better artist Gilmore. He's just a way better Gilmore. 58 steals is his only problem, but I'm telling you, he'll still steal the ball if it's thrown at him. Really good speed, great lateral. And he's, he's huge. The Ken Mutombo get into S tier. And he also doesn't have the stamina issue that a lot of guys have. Then we are on to the bench. And the backup point guard is my toughest position. So, I'm going to have two guys in the squad. And the first of my backup point guards I'm going to use. I'm actually going to put it through a curveball. Because I'm going with David Thompson. He's so much better than I thought he was going to be. He gets some of the craziest defensive animations in the game. Just look at his defensive badges, by the way. He's basically all. Basically all the defensive badges. He's got a lot of elite like scoring badges on the basket. He has no range. His release is pretty good. He dunks on everybody. It's just something about his defense. I don't. His interior is low, but he has consistently just blocked guys like Yao Ming. You're saying, oh, he's got low interior defense, man. He's just gonna block the shot. He snatch blocked Yao for me yesterday. Like 97 speed, 96 speed, see, 96 speed ball, 96 acceleration. 96 lateral quickness, like, he is incredible. I don't know why. I thought he was a bum. I really thought he was a bum, but David Thompson's coming to the squad. At the shooting guard position, we got Jason Richardson. Jason Richardson, because uh, we have David Thompson guarding ball. Jay Rich, for me, is that step above AJ Allen Brown. He is. That 21 goal, those 21 goal badges, quick chain interceptor, clamps, post riser, downhill, half range extender, limitless takeoff, menace, as well 36 goal badges. Got some really nice ones there as well. He has got a great three ball, great dunk, great defense, and um, really great speed and great lateral quickness, and as well as good tendencies. What more can you ask from a card than that? And then at the small four position, again, this is a really tough one because Cam is elite, so is RJ Barrett. And if I just want to go big, I can go Aaron Gordon. So I'm. I'm kind of stuck. I'm kind of stuck. I think I'm going to go with Cam because I prefer Cam to RJ Barrett. Cam Reddish still has a spot in my squad. Cam Reddish moves. He's like a slightly worse version of Paul George. He's got really good defense. He can guard ball if needed. He can guard wing. He can shoot the ball. He handles the ball well. He's got good dribble style. Um, his dunking's really, really good. Again, block interior a little bit low, but it's not the end of the world. 95 lateral quickness, Cam Reddish is in my squad. 
at the power forward position, we've got... Now again, this is not a really, really tough position to have anybody. Because... This is again gonna be maybe the most controversial pick on this entire list. And I'm gonna actually swap out two players. Because I'm gonna put Jimmy Butler in a power forward. And I'm gonna put Ben Wallace in. I'm gonna put Ben Wallace in a small forward. And if Ben Wallace is in a small forward, because he's gonna guard ball instead of David Thompson, Pistol Pete Maravich is coming in. So Pistol Pete Maravich can create. He just creates, he can score. Like stats wise, perfect. Again, his release is a little bit slow, but he's gonna be our secondary creator after Jason Richardson. He's gonna be really good. Ben Wallace is gonna, Ben Wallace and Jimmy Butler are gonna share a ball. Actually, no, well, screw it. No, Jimmy Butler, we need someone to guard power forward. I'm gonna put in Mobley instead. I'm gonna put in Mobley to guard the power forwards. And Mobley is purely in there because I want him guarding the other team's power forward. Jimmy Butler is going to take ball. Pete's going to guard Cone. Mobley's going to guard power forward. Jimmy Butler is like god tier. He just isn't. He's just small power forward. He just can't really defend power forward. He's going to be like my set, one of my ball handlers. Jimmy Butler is going to be insane. Then center off the bench, I think. Honestly, Eddie freaking Curry. Eddie's player build, Eddie's release, Eddie's movement. He's actually a really, really nice card. He's only got 37 badges, but like, I mean, his badges are really good. Especially in terms of scoring. Hoff Sniper as well. Hot Zone's in the corner. He's not going to miss. Eddie freaking Curry is a good card. And he's also got like Shifty. So if you do need to dribble with him, you can. Like our whole bench lineup has got quicker Shifty except for Mobley. So I think he's a really good card. And now the last three off the bench. So first player... Obviously, we're going diamond. We're going to the member of Team Heart. And it is Joakim Noah. Who is not here, apparently. I don't know what happened to my Joakim Noah. Either way, my Joakim Noah is gone. So gold Joakim Noah, you're coming in. And then... We have got Diamond, Centers, obviously Don't Tell Jokic. And last up, lads, Rajon Rondo. Because as you guys know, Rajon Rondo is him. Rajon Rondo is him, lads. So anyway, yeah, that is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.